If you've purchased a pack to make this necklace, let's go quickly through everything that you will have received. Uh, if you haven't purchased a pack, don't worry, this is everything that you will need to make the necklace. So each pack will differ slightly. So there will be a selection of beads, uh, there will be a pendant for the bottom of your necklace, there will be cogs and gears, um, there will be, uh, these are eye pins, uh, there will also be jump rings. Now when they, you receive the pack, make sure you go through and pull out the one jump ring that's slightly bigger, because you're going to need that with your lobster clasp because that's uh, your fixing at the end of your necklace so this is everything that you should receive if you have had any problems if anything hasn't arrived in your pack please do let me know immediately and of course I will send it out so really quick introduction to the tools that you're going to need for this tutorial. These are round nose pliers and they are called that because they have a round nose. Uh, and these are chain uh, or snipe or flat pliers. Um, I use these all day long. Uh, these are really helpful. Mine have a cutting blade in the middle, which is great. If you don't have that, you can always get these. These are side cutting pliers. I would say that these three are your staple. And if you're considering making jewelry, this is what you should be looking for. Let's talk jump rings. Now, there's a very simple way to open and close jump rings, and it's the correct way to do it. And this will ensure that you don't have a gap. So all you're gonna do is hold the uh, chain nose pliers on one side, you can just see the join here, and then you're going to take your round nose pliers and you're going to hold them in this hand. Now this will depend upon your dominant uh, hand. So I'm dominant on my right hand. So all I'm doing is um, I'm going to pull towards me with my dominant hand, my right hand, I'm going to push away from me with my left hand uh, and I'm just going to slightly open now can you see that's just slightly open there uh, and that's exactly how to do a jump ring and when you close it it's exactly the reverse so you're just going to move it in the different direction and just keep going until you make sure that it is completely closed that's the way to do a jump ring you should never try to pull a jump ring apart such as this one's been done here. Uh, this will never close properly and you will always have a gap and this will ruin your jewellery. So all you've got to remember is that nice simple twist uh, and that's how to use a jump ring. The first thing we're going to do to make our necklace is to put our um, eye pins into our beads uh, and get those all ready for our construction. So it's really simple. We're just going to uh, create something very uh, similar to this. Uh, so you're going to take one of your eye pins, you're going to put it into the bead. Now using this finger here to make sure that it is up against the bead, uh, you're then going to take this finger and you're going to push away from yourself to turn this wire through 90 degrees, making sure that you have it straight. There we go. So that's what you're looking for, 90 degrees here. You're then going to take uh, your pliers. Now I'm using my chain pliers here uh, and you're gonna cut off that wire at around the eight to nine millimeter level. So take that off. And then you're going to take that your round nose pliers and we're gonna create that loop. Now this is really easy to do. Uh, and one really good tip is if you want to make sure that each of your loops is equal, um, make a mark on your round nose pliers at the point where you're going to use every time. And that will ensure that each time the loop is exactly the same size. So using our wrist, we're just going to roll that wire into the bead. So we grab, the wire right at the end and we roll in we take it out and we continue that roll all the way around until we've created that loop now all i'm going to do now is use those pliers there to make sure that we have both loops equal and across so that's all you're doing and you're going to continue doing that with each of your beads Time to start constructing our necklace. Now this is really simple. I've shown you how to open the jump rings. We've already made our loops and wires on our beads and it's just a case of being creative. So go one for one on bead to, to um, uh, cog ratio or you could do three cogs, three beads. However you want to make it, this is your necklace and everyone will be slightly unique. So I've opened up these jump rings. I'm just going to continue along. So I'm gonna grab that there and I'm going to add a cog and then I'm just going to quickly twist and 
push that together there we go and we would continue along in the same fashion until we've completed our necklace with uh, all of the um, cogs and gears and beads or just as long as you want to make it I mean it could be that you do a shorter necklace and then maybe make a bracelet uh, completely up to you so the other things that we need to do is we need to add our drop pendant now in this case I have a B so I'm just going to quickly grab the B there uh, with my jump ring I'm going to put it on my cog at this point and exactly the same I'm just going to close up that jump ring there and so that would be the point where I would have in my necklace the pendant at the bottom. So that's nice and easy. And then finally, the finishings. So we have here a lobster clasp and this I, I'm using uh, as the loop at the end to attach to my lobster clasp. So if I decide that this is where I want to put my uh, clasp at the end, we're just going to put our jump ring through our lobster clasp. And we're going to put it onto that bead there and we're going to close it up there we go so that's all nicely closed so that would be our end of our necklace and then finally exactly the same at the other end we want to put our larger loop so that we don't struggle to uh, tie on uh, to fasten our necklace and exactly the same jump ring onto i'm choosing to put it onto this cog but it could be onto a bead equally and I just slightly tweak that one and again that one's finished so then I would have a completed necklace this one's obviously very short but yours will be a lot longer and that's it it's a very simple necklace to make uh, you can get as creative as you want with it um, I hope you enjoy making this tutorial uh, if you do have a go at making it please do take a photograph and send it to me at maybe more at Facebook I'd love to see what you get up to thank you